Welcome to my channel. Weight loss story, the journey of a radio jockey from double XL to M. Weight loss is not an easy journey and Karen's story is a testament of that. Being overweight not only shattered Karen's confidence but also refrained him from meeting new people. Above all this, not being able to find clothes of his size made him feel frustrated and embarrassed. It is always said, losing weight takes time, patience, and motivation. And, 28-year-old radio jockey Karen's journey from double XL to M was also not easy. Here's what he has to share about his weight loss journey from being fat to fit. Name, Karen Kunakura. Age, 28 years. Occupation, radio jockey. Highest weight recorded, 122 kilos. Weight lost, 45 kilos. Duration it took me to lose weight, thanks to all the effort, motivation and manipulations done to my diet every week by none other than my trainer, who was also my nutritionist, it took me 11 months to reduce weight. The turning point, at times, some of my listeners were shocked to see me, as I was not the same person whom they imagined from my voice on the radio. Once during a college fest, a stage anchor while introducing me on the stage in front of huge crowd cracked a joke, named To Socha the Koi Gabru Smart Salad Kohoga, Apto Bilimalu Teddy Bear Nickel, I thought you must be a handsome hunk, but you turned out to be a teddy bear. So, looks are also important in the radio world, because nowadays RJs are not confined to a particular radio show and creative content. They also interact with listeners through meetings, stage events and social media platforms. My breakfast, eggs, paneer, black coffee, green tea. My lunch, rice, chapati, veggies, soya chunks, curd and cheese cubes. I make sure my carb intake for the whole day must be around pre and post workout and evening. My dinner, paneer pulao with curd, veggies and salad. Eating rice for dinner won't make you fat, total calories consumed in the whole day is what matters. I indulge in, homemade butter chicken and aluparantha. My workout, I do weight and compound training, following a periodization model. I change my repetitions every week along with the loads. My trainer never lets me waste my energy on the treadmill more than 5 to 6 minutes I work out for 6 days in a week low calorie recipes I swear by, spinach soup, curd, paneer, green veggies, salad and lemonade. Fitness secrets I unveiled, eating fats will never make you fat and eating rice will never make you fat. But going beyond your maintenance calories does. Combining a structured diet plan with weight training and cardio will yield results. How do I stay motivated? Motivational words from my father and silent but major efforts from my super mom who made sure that I get right meals every single day. Also, now my fan base has increased. I came down from double XL to XL to L to M, no more compromising on my favorite clothes. The sheer will to change and not to get into the old clothes kept me motivated. How do you ensure you don't lose focus? Once I started seeing results, I never looked back. I still watch inspiring videos of fat loss stories. Once when I uploaded a picture after losing 25 kilos on my social media account, my inbox was filled with praises and compliments. Once you start seeing results, it becomes an addiction. What's the most difficult part of being overweight? It was like a third degree torture at clothing shops, when you keep on trying out new clothes and they don't fit you. Body shaming goes without saying. People called me Matu, Galgapa, Pawan. They treat you as someone who is not serious about his life and eating habits. Back then I rarely posted any pictures myself on my social media account and avoided social gatherings. What shape do you see yourself 10 years down the line? It's like a never-ending war with your body, to be a better version of you. I am maintaining my weight, 7782 kilos, since last 12 months and wish to maintain it. What are the lifestyle changes you made? I am no more a lazy person. 
I have become more confident about the way I look and feel. My coach always says how you feel, it's all in the mind and positivity in your mind is directly proportional to your physical fitness. What was the lowest point for you? As I went on getting more obese, I was in a constant fear that I'll get prone to diseases, I experienced knee pain at a very early stage in my life. My radio show was affected due to lack of confidence as I was reluctant to meet new people and even my fans. I was not happy in my own skin. I felt like a burden on myself. Emotional eating made things worse. Lessons learned from weight loss, you don't think of changing yourself, on the basis of what others say. Self-realization, motivation and consistency are the key to everything. Control your mind, not the other way around. I still get urges to eat yummy junk food at gatherings and functions, but for few minutes. Once you control your mind during that, you will come out of that urge very soon, very soon.